the clouds over. Look at that steeple! Yeah, that's the one that catches on fire. Why do they yeah, even have that catches on fire? Frequently gets um, struck by lightning. Why? Wow, lightning. that is really cool. So Charity has done something again. You're making it sound so bad. It is! I can't, I can't believe we're doing Whoa. this. Anyways, how this all happened, and this is, we didn't end up filming, filming it because, well, sometimes you just, life happens unexpectedly and you don't always expect things like we this to happen. We don't film everything. Yes. Anyways, we went and bought rolling nest boxes. So, our chickens, we have a couple nest boxes we had bought used and we wanted a couple more and we actually found some, well, well a little local, a little bit of a ways from our place. But we were able to connect with that person and buy the nesting boxes. While we were there, I wasn't there, Charity was there, we found out that she had bought, it. And how many chickens did she have, 100? She had a ton of chickens that she had bought. They were the same age as Charity's chicks. And because of some unforeseen circumstances, she had to sell her flock. And she's piecing them out for $10 a bird, which... Wow, that's outrageous. <laughs> that's a really good price because you pay... What what do we pay? Two fifty, three seventy five, something like that for a chicken, and she has fed them for three four months. She's fed them, taken care of them for all that time, and they are just at the same stage of just getting ready to lay eggs. So, Charity's like, I finished my coop. Can we get ten more? Did you show the viewers the coop yet? No, they haven't seen the finished coop. The chickens okay. moved in last night. First night in the coop, all is good. They seemed happy. So we are going to buy 10 more chickens and four for our neighbor. So that's what we're doing. This is, I didn't expect to be doing this today, but here we are. We have a big cage in the back of our vehicle to house them while we transport them back to the house and our coop. So that's the exciting news. Charity's flock is going to have even more different varieties. My four chickens, the Leghorns, went in with my flock last night and they're in the process of getting acclimated. So, yeah, you never know what a day will bring. So, we're using the old greenhouse. Yeah. To house all the chickens. <laughs> they're quiet now. We're still, we have to get what, three more? Two more. Two more. <laughs> they're like, where are we going? So we have what black australopes? Yep, we have four or five of those. We do four of those. A Plymouth I'm keeping blue? two of those. We are gonna have like six Plymouth or blue rocks. Okay. And then I have three of the white. Uh, oh, I forgot what they're called. Somebody but wants. the white ones. You guys will get water when you get home, okay? Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Such a pretty farm. They have a bunch of free range chickens over there. There's a whole bunch under that coop. We've got some barns here and she owns a hundred acres. Such a pretty lot too. Okay, there's one more, don't let her go. There you go, hopping. There you go. Daniel, you wanna see something? <gasps> Here we go. Oh, oh, good gray. We have three different types. What do you think, Daniel? Yeah. Four, five. They're new chickies. Can I hold one this Once we get them in the coop, okay? Uh, water, uh, which ones are... Uh, yeah, we'll get oh, the yeah, water. water. Well, yes, yeah, they'll get water as soon as they get in there. Okay, here. We have new charity but new chickens. Yes, 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 they, that's what chickens do, honey. That's what chickens do. Girls, girls, girls. Who wants this in? Me. Gentle, gentle. Can I have your wings? Yeah, she goes straight to the coop. Oh, take them back to the coop, guys. 
<laughs> We're going there. <laughs> Look how pretty she is. Look right there. Yep. That's what color egg she lays. Yellow shade. Wow. Wow. Look, she has black. She's going to lay the darker eggs. She's going to lay the really dark ones. Yeah, look yeah. at that. Here we go. Looks like a crow. <laughs> the chickens are much more acclimated to their new house. And I thought I would give you a tour of Charity's almost completed chicken coop. And look at that gal. She's checking us out. She's wondering, what, is, what do you have to do? Well, how's the window perch, huh? Well, there it is. Charity built that mostly by herself. She had our help on some of the things that you guys know if you watched our videos. But the windows are not in. They were in earlier, but it was when we went to paint, we pulled them back out. So right now they have screens on them. It's definitely warm enough. So, oh, she's gone. Where'd you go? Are you in there? Hi, girls. See how much ha how happy they are? Yeah, anyway, I'll take you guys in for a second. Most of this was built from the uh, pigeon coop that she reclaimed earlier this year. That door here, that piece of plywood, we actually just slide up and down. So we close the run at night. The run is temporary. We have not finished this yet. That's one thing. We had to wait until she finished painting, which she just finished painting. So we will be putting in the more, the bigger, more permanent run. This was just very temporary, the wire that we had. We wanted to at least get the chickens outside in the fresh air. This is the front of the chicken coop here, and we still need to figure out what we're going to do here. If we're going to pour some cement, we actually do have some cement. We've talked about putting in a cement pad here over to just the regular sidewalk, and we also have to finish digging in. I don't know, what do you do? You're just burying the chicken wire? Yes, so the rodents don't, rodents don't go in. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put the windows back on now. Like I said, we've been waiting for all the paint to dry and everything, and it's finally done. Oh, you put the window. I was wondering where you'd put those. Yeah, inside. Okay, so he's going to work on those. This is the interior of the coop. So she wired off half of it for the time being, um, having her food, stepladder, and... Um, a broom and just her access chicken wire right here for now. I'm presuming she's going to tidy this up a little bit more and then she moved her shelf here. She does want to uh, repurpose that and do a bookshelf with that and she had said she might want to do a video. So that's in here out of the elements for the time being and then in here we've got the chickens. Hey girls, how are you? So the red ones were the ones that we originally, she had originally gotten at Tractor Supply. And now we have all of those other gray ones, black ones. Let's see if I can find the black guys. The black ones like to sit here. This is their favorite place to perch. Hey girls. Oh, there's an egg in here. Um, Lily, can you help get the egg, please? How many eggs did you get? Please. Do you need help? No. Okay, look at the girls. They're like, what are you doing? You gonna bring me special treats? Hey, no, these are these are eggs, boys. Mm. Oh, it looks like the windows are gonna be up shortly. Right. Yeah. Come in. I sure can. Do you need help? Yes. I need help opening the door. Oh, I can help you with that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, stay in, girls. Don't come out. These red ones are masters of escape. Don't ask us how we know. Sorry, girls, you gotta stay in your coop. So upon further research, these white gals here are supposed to get up to nine pounds. They're supposed to be like gentle giants. Like, is this a special <laughs> They think that book is a treat. <laughs> Not a treat, girls. Not a treat. So that is Charity's chicken coop. It's been a little bit and the chickens have acclimated all together quite nicely and the favorites are definitely the white ones. I think Charity's very happy that she went ahead and purchased 10 more chickens. She really is enjoying it and as you saw, she's getting lots of nice eggs. So with that, I'm going to end this video. Thanks so much for coming along. We'll see you next time.